Welcome to the Contributor Corner for Run Radio. We've got Chef Alessandro De Luca from Italian Kitchen joining us. What do you have for us today? Oh, today we are looking at the back. We're looking at what happened and how the Italian American cuisine was born. And okay. I was impressed because I did some research for this topic. And uh, I say, okay, that makes, you know, put things in perspective. And at the same time, as I sometimes have heard, is we're going to slaughter some sacred cows. I mean, there are pre preconceptions that everybody has. I mean, me as an Italian, I have preconception about American Italian food. And American Italian have ideas about Italian food. And let's try to clear the air and figure out stuff. So American, uh, Italian and American started coming between 19 and the 20, at the, at the end of 19th century, to the beginning of the 20th century. We have to consider these people were mostly from the South uh, because the one from the North, they moved to South America for some reason. Mostly from the South, people come to North America. And we have to consider these people had no money back home and no food. They were coming from a very impoverished uh, country and they didn't have the tools back home to have ag agriculture that was you know, as strong as the one in the US. So you imagine all these poor people, pretty much illiterate, coming to the US. And the US, they found a place that is fantastic because from within not even weeks from then when they land wherever they land, they can find a job. And with the farm, with the job, they have money. And with money, they can finally buy all the food that was missing back home. Mm. Because I mean, in Italy, you unless you have uh, chickens, you didn't have eggs, you had to buy eggs and they were expensive. Just like meat, unless you were a butcher, it was or rich, it was difficult to find meat. Here, here everything was totally different. So they started using the recipe that they brought from home, but they changed them because now they have this cornucopia of ingredients. And so they started adding eggs and meat and butter to everything they could to celebrate this newly founded richness, okay? And so, this was the beginning of the change. They were not anymore following recipes from home. They just adapted to the new richness of ingredients. The other problem was there was literally until 1960, there was no book talking about Italian recipes. And so everything was just like uh, passed orally from mother to daughter, from grandmother to uh, daughters and go on. Finally, in the 60s, we have this kind of weird situation in which the Italian American are a lot. And we go through that phase in which nobody of the immigrants wanted to be perceived as immigrants. So you have all this section still now, generations of immigrants, and not just Italian, who don't speak the language of their grandparents and don't know anything about their grandparents' culture because. For, you know, 50 years, you needed to be Americans. I mean, the idea of the melting pot went up to a, an extreme to the point in which your own culture, where it was not a melting pot of culture, it was just, this is the culture you drink from the melting pot. Your culture doesn't exist anymore. And so mm -hmm. part of it teach uh, the language and didn't teach the rest. So in the 60s, what happened is, finally, the first books of Italian-American uh, cuisine came out. And they were written by Anglo-American chef who had an idea of what American, uh, what Italian cuisine was, but they adapted to their taste and the uh, ingredients that they have here. Because of course, the ingredients in the US, they're not the same ingredients over there. And so the next level was you have now in the 80s, or late 70s, in the uh, late 70s and 80s, all these people who are, oh, I'm Italian because my grandma was Italian because, you know, and now I don't know what to cook. So what they did, they went to the only books that were available. They were written by someone who was never been Italian, never been in Italy, and had just like adjusted recipes or pretty much invented recipes. <clears throat> And that's what they did. They learned that recipes that were created by someone who was never Italian 
were actually the base for Italian cuisine. And so that's where Giopino came out. That's where uh, um, the Giopino came out, the Alfredo came out, all those crazy mix with chicken and uh, pasta that we will never eat. The, all that stuff came out that's like that. So instead of learning from immigrants, the generation before uh, mine had to learn on books written by someone who had never, who have never an idea what Italian food look like, tastes like, and has to be made. Oh, that's very interesting. So if someone comes to you and asks for Alfredo, what do you do? I mean, it's a staple of American cuisine, American Italian cuisine. So I make it, I make it as close as possible to the original yeah. version. Very good. All right. Thanks for sharing authentic Italian food at Italian Kitchen. Check out their information and more at runradio.net. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Thank you.